Hey everybody, Phil from Two Forks. So I was, I've been straightening out my shop and uh, put some new faces on the cabinets in the back and just sort of trying to declutter a little bit because it got a little out of control. And I realized that I had uh, so much scrap wood that I wasn't going to use that I needed to do something with it. I, I had to either get rid of it or turn it into kindling or give it to someone or do something. And you guys know, if you've watched any of my videos, both of you guys, that I, I hate throwing wood away and um, I really do but it got to a point where I couldn't even find some of it some of it was buried I'd, I'd you know take a couple pieces off and realize oh I do have a piece of oak here so I, I, I decided that uh, it's time to change and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every piece of scrap wood that I have in the shop and try and make an outfeed table out of it so just the just the surface and um I don't know what's going to happen. I've got all different species of wood. I, I've got maple, I've got oak, I've got fir, I've got who knows what. There's some poplar in there, I think. I got some cherry. I don't know when it expands and contracts exactly what's going to happen, but uh, I, I'm going to give it a shot and we'll, we'll see what it is. But let me show you real quick what, what I'm working with. Roll this way. Blink. All right, so that's what I'm working with there. It's basically years and years of accumulated wood. And I've got some pieces that, you know, this is what made me think was to get rid of it because what am I going to do with that? It's got a hole right in the middle. Obviously, I, I make try stuff making joints on it. That's a, I tried to obviously make some finger joints on it. So mostly I'm just testing. With, with these pieces. I'm never going to make anything out of that. And it's just really time to, to get rid of it. I got this big thing of cherry. I got this big thing of oak here. Um, an old maple door panel. So we'll see. Piece of dug fur that I, I'm keeping for who knows what reason. I guess for this maybe. Maybe this is, this is its calling. But what I'm going to do is basically I'm just going to rip all of these so that they're seven eighths tall. I'm not too concerned about how wide they are. Like I might keep that that wide. Um, but is, if I'm going to keep it a certain width, I got to make sure it's going to make the whole run, obviously, because I don't want to start piecing in pieces that are different width. If I got something like this one seems to be about five eighths, um, I just got to make sure that's going to make the whole run. It's 48 by 48. I've, I've, as you can see, I've kind of laid it out thinking like, is this enough? Uh, well, I hope so. Otherwise, it's going to be a partially completed outfeed table. But I think I'm going to get it. And I, if I need to put in a couple of pieces of fur, I will. I'm not putting any pine in here, even though I have still a lot on the shelves, because I think that's just too soft. Fur is kind of pushing it, but the rest of it I think will be okay. So I'm going to get the ripping and planing. Um, I don't need to show you that. You all know what that looks like. And once I get to the next step, I'll get you back on and um, show you what I'm thinking, because I, I really don't know what I'm thinking at this point. I'm, I'm totally winging this. Uh, so you can watch me wing it. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, well, here it is. Came out better than I hoped, actually. It, uh, it was a lot of work. There's like 160 pieces of wood in here, and like 60 rows or something. So it, uh, it was interesting. It took, it took three or four hours just to get this all milled up. And there's still a few of them in here. I got a mark that uh, I need to, they're just, the one of the pieces is slightly bigger than the other, so it's not gonna clamp up. Although I am definitely not under any illusion that this is actually gonna clamp up tight like a butcher block. It's just not gonna, I, I, could, I could chase my tail all day long trying to figure out why it's, it's not getting tight. Um, I only have two clamps right now. I gotta get another one of these connectors because I don't have these giant long clamps to clamp that all up. Anyway, it's kind of fun though. There's, you know, I have these pieces in here that I know came from an old uh, maple uh, cutting board that I made because I can see the inlay in there. I know some of the, uh, this was from a moxin vise that I made after seeing a video thinking I had to have one and then realizing that I had zero use for it. It just took up space. So uh, I turned that into, into this. I know this is an old television console I made. Anyway, it, all this stuff I sort of recognized from from uh, projects that I, I've done over the years. So it's kind of fun to have them sort of memorialized here in my outfit table. Should be pretty strong. It's all um, uh, hardwood except for these three sections that are fir, no pine or anything in there because I do want to be able to beat on it a little bit and, and have it be okay. So next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to break it up. It's 48 inches, so I'm going to break it up into sections of uh, eight inches 
and glue those together um, so that after I do that, I can run them through my planer and try and get it flat. I really want this to be flat. I don't know when I, when I glue this whole thing up, this 48 inches, uh, how I'm going to keep that flat. Um, I'll have to come up with something because I do want this to be nice and flat. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to fix a couple of these that are preventing me from get, getting it nice and tight and then start gluing these up into, into eight inch sections, which is going to take me a while because I don't have enough clamps to do too many at one time. So it could be a day or two before I get back to you, but I'll get back to you and I'll show you how I glue up one of these sections. It's going to be interesting because there's a lot of pieces, so I'm going to have to back it somehow and who knows, I'll probably end up in a terrible mess and use 50 gallons of glue and it'll still be weird. But that's me. That's what I do. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, well, it, here it is. This is uh, how this thing has to get glued up. Um, it, it's hard. I mean, they, I probably ought to title this video How to Glue 160 Pieces of Wood Together. It, it's, it, it's not easy. I'm doing this in eight inch sections, but I don't think I'm going to be able to continue on with that. It, it's just by the time you butter up all the pieces with glue, it's sort of as soon as you touch them together, they, they're, they're pretty adhered and it makes it hard to move around. Anyway, these guys on here, these blocks, are just to try and keep it flat. And I had to throw a million of those on just to see if I could keep it flat. But it was, like I said, it was tough because it really had kind of already set up by the time I got all of these on, but I think, I think we might have done okay. The fun part too, while I was doing this, uh, the power went out down here, so uh, I couldn't see a thing. As, as you guys may or may not know, I'm in a basement, so it was completely dark, and uh, that made it a challenge. But the power came on kind of a couple seconds later, I had grabbed the flashlight, and so it, was, it wasn't too terrible, but any time wasted when you're trying to glue these things up, it becomes a nuisance. So again, all of these are just to try and keep keep the thing flat. It's kind of fun. And I ran out of small clamps, so I had to use these big ones. So now the thing's probably going to fall over. I'll keep taking these off. Maybe we'll speed it up a little, and then we'll see how we did. Oh boy. It doesn't look too terrible. It's not bad. We're definitely going to be able to work with this. Um, the other thing that I did uh, is I glued up pieces that had finish on them and knowing full well that they weren't going to stick. They won't. Um, great glue, but it needs the pores in the wood to be able to stick. So I don't know if I have any of those in here, but last time I did that, I was able to just flex the pieces right off, but it, it doesn't look like I have any in here. So that's a good thing. Uh, there's one piece here that's loose because I think I forgot to tighten down a single clamp and all the madness of the lights going out and all that. But we, we did okay. Um, some of these could be a little bit tighter, but again, I, as I mentioned, I'm under no illusion that this is going to come out perfectly. But this, this came out fine. It's pretty flat, pretty straight, so we're good to go. But now I'm going to start going, as I said, in sort of four inch increments because that, that was madness. So I'm going to start gluing up the rest. I got to go check to make sure there's no finish on any of those. And, uh, and, but we're getting there. So another thousand days and I should have this finished. I hope I live long enough. All right, so we're all done gluing. It was a lot easier to do in sort of these five inch sizes, four inch sizes than it was in the big eight inch one. Uh, a lot easier. So now I'm gonna run it all through the planer and get them all the same thickness, obviously. And one thing I need to do, when I glue these up, they had a little bit of a curve in them. Uh, it's probably me. I was doing something wrong, I'm sure of it. But it's an easy thing to get out. You just have to run it through the joiner. But you want to run it through the joiner on the concave side. Don't try and, don't try and get the hump out because all you really do is just keep running it through and, and, and accentuating the hump. So run the concave side through. You'll hear it. It'll cut and then it won't and then it'll cut. And you just keep doing that until it's a consistent cut all the way through. Then I just run it through the table saw and get the get the hump out of it. Then you can run it through the joiner, but if it's clean enough, just glue it up. It'll be fine, particularly for this type of a thing. So that's next. Planer, run it through the joiner a couple times, and I'm going to glue the whole thing together. 
cut the ends and you know maybe put a little route on it or something like that and see how she looks but so far uh, i like it a lot i think it, it came out pretty well all right so there's eight sections or so whatever forming about two feet and so i'm going to glue these first few up and then glue the second half up in the second two feet it's about four feet or maybe we came up a little short i can't remember anyway so we got this nice and flat. This, this is how I do it. Just take these something nice and strong, stiff, and, and sandwich it in between, and uh, and then just clamp it together. And I check this with a square, and it, it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. So uh, this way we'll be able to get it nice and flat. If I try to do all of them, I, I couldn't. Um, so this should work. And we'll just glue the two halves together, and uh, I'm happy with it. This is nice and flat. Hopefully we get the other one nice and flat, and the whole thing flat, and we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to poly it or what I'm going to do. Maybe you guys can tell me what you, you think I ought to do. But we're almost there. I'm pleased. Here she is. All done. And I actually ended up just putting some poly on it because I kind of wanted to bring out the, the colors in each one of these boards. I probably could have gone with the clear, but that's what I did. And I routed a little chamfer on the edge of it. So it's... it's uh, pretty much exactly what I was hoping it was going to be. I'm really pleased with it. And I love the way that it turned out. I love the fact that I know half of the boards in here, what they what they were. Um, it, it turned out that most of these had finish on them, so I had to run more than half of them through the joiner again, even after I got them all the right thickness because of the whole glue debacle. But uh, I'm pleased. It's, it's, it came out exactly the way I hoped. So hope you guys give it a shot. It was I'd, I'd like to say it was fun, but it kind of wasn't. <laughs> it was hard. It was uh, it was a lot of work, a lot of glue, but still, they, they're always fun. And uh, it's fun to do a project that you know really doesn't have much purpose whatsoever. But uh, you know, just to just to keep life fun. So anyway, give it a shot. Hope you enjoyed watching the video, and uh, stay peaceful. I'll see you in the next one.